Hi Virgo, thank you for booking the extended. Let's see what's going on. Um, I'm gonna share my notes with you first. So these are the notes that I have. Um, the first one is someone has their hands on something that is yours. This note is still relevant here. This has been, um, this note has been relevant for about a week now. Someone has their hands on something that is yours. The other note is um, you should have just sat there and ate your food. <laughs> I'm picking up an energy here where someone should have just sat down and ate their food. Now they could be regretting a decision that they've made when it comes to you. Meaning they should have just chilled the fuck out when it came to you. I'm getting they didn't have to take it as far or do what they did to you. I'm also getting an energy here of um, a blessing. So there is a blessing on your life, Virgo. I'm getting there's a blessing headed your way. I'm getting something that's being gifted to you from the universe. But with this blessing, Virgo, it's very important that you keep it hidden. It's very important that you keep it to yourself at this time just because of the current energies, because of the current energies that you're dealing with. I'm getting, um, I'm also hearing prowl, like the, like a prowl. So someone could be um, praying on you as far as your blessing go. So I'm getting a need for you to keep it secret. If you tuned into my reading yesterday, I mentioned that I had notes, but I forgot to tell you exactly what the notes were or what the notes said because of this reason here. A need for you to keep this blessing secret or to yourself. Let's see what comes out. Um, let's get some of these for you. Yeah, alchemy. See there? I'm getting work. Something is in the works for you. I'm getting like a big bag. I'm getting something to do with abundance. I'm getting abundance is arriving. Yeah, manifestation. So this is something you've manifested. I'm getting abundance here, the number nine. It's like a powerful manifesting number when it comes to abundance. Number eight is like wealth. Number nine is like more than wealth. So I'm getting affluence. I'm also getting a need for you to speak up. Virgo. I'm getting you can make it by, by speaking up. You can, you can get to this level that you seek by speaking up. I'm getting you need to speak up more. You may find it very difficult to, to speak up about this situation because of what you're going through. This could be um, within relationship. Could be some type of restraint uh, surrounding your relationship or um, this could be a various of things. You just could be uncomfortable with speaking up at this time. You could be afraid to brew your own storm. Yeah, radical rebirth. Look at there, you're, you're afraid to uh, destruct. I'm getting you don't wanna self-destruct here or this is someone else. I'm also getting an energy here of um, where you're going to see some type of um, so I'm getting I have to be honest you're going to have to leave some things or some people out in the cold in order to receive this abundance or this next blessing yeah I'm getting you're going to have to keep this very close to yourself you see these two lions here I'm getting very protective over this next blessing is what I'm really picking up on there's something that no one else can have. I'm getting only you. Yeah, then you have uh, creativity. Something to do with your creativity. Many of you could be um, speakers of some sort. Certified speakers. You could do something with your voice. If not your voice, with your hands. Yeah, live out loud type of energy here. I'm getting a need for you to live out loud so you can see this abundance or this blessing come in. I'm getting it's a manifestation or of some sort. Yes, yeah, storms and pleasure. So someone could have brewed their own storm by betraying you. I'm getting secrets were, were revealed surrounding this person. You could be brewing a storm. Like this next blessing could have like um, power or potential to create a storm. When it comes to someone that betrayed you, I'm also getting pleasuring. Like this person, they're into being pleasured. They could have uh, did something as far as pleasuring themselves with another person that 
you know, you could feel, uh, you feel betrayed by this. If, if not a, a person, someone could be sharing information with someone that you see as very dark or wicked. Yeah, I'm getting secrets were revealed to you about this person, about how fake that they were. Yeah, I'm getting an energy here of where you're about to shine. But you need to keep something under wraps. I'm, I'm getting only share with a specific group. I'm getting certain people, certain friends. So this could be closely knitted friends, sisters, or, you know, family. I'm getting only share with your family here. Let's see. Yes, yeah, six of wands energy. So I'm getting longevity with this blessing. This blessing is going to um, be very lucrative. It's going to last you a long time. See, many people, they... they they rush their blessing. So I see you you keeping quiet anyway. I'm getting your you're in alignment, Virgo, with um within receiving this blessing. Like you're aligning yourself to receive this blessing, this next manifestation. Whatever you conjured up or manifested, I'm getting you you were in a low place, a dark place. And I feel like with whatever you're conjuring up, it's going to last you a long time. Many people like fast blessings. They like things to be handed to them. I feel you've worked for this. Queen Nefertiti, you've worked for this. Alchemy, you've changed for this. I'm getting this person did not change. This person was not willing to change, but yet you've changed. So this is this blessing is for you only. This is your blessing. This is your calling. I'm getting no one can have this blessing. You cannot share this blessing with anyone. I'm getting only people that you are closely knitted to and that you trust. Six of Cups, siblings only, people that you look up to or look down to. I'm getting a parental figure, if anything. Let's see. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. See there? <laughs> Truth and justice, but hidden. Hidden in plain sight. I'm also getting motivation. Someone could be motivating you as far as this blessing goes. You could be in your head about it. I'm getting a need for you to uh, seek out um, seek out people that you can trust. You know, as far as exchanging truth and justice goes um, about this uh, victory or this blessing with the Six of Wands energy. Six of Cups, I'm getting something about a sibling. You could have told a sibling. I'm also getting a sibling could know that you're battling uh, mentally. Something like that. Yeah, the lovers. And then you have the um, Five of Cups. Maybe when it comes to relationship. I'm also getting separation here. You may be separating with someone. This could be a past person or someone... Um, yeah, so something of the past. So I'm getting something of the past here. This could be a past person. It could have been a past person that you were, um, you did not see or something that you was blinded to when it came to something of the past. I'm also getting you regret this situation here. You have regrets when it comes to um, this. This could be something sexual or this person of the past. They regret some type of sexual encounter that they had, something that they did. Yeah, and I'm getting this is why they've been X'd out from this blessing. Yeah, the death card. I'm getting death has been brought in. Endings have been brought in because of, uh, I'm getting something about ancestors. If you paid attention to the reading here, I spoke about ancestors setting boundaries because of their discontentment with um, things that are hidden by this person. I'm also getting, um, someone's not sorry. They could be pretending that they're sorry, but I'm getting, um, someone's sorry, but they haven't told you that they're sorry. Someone failed to tell you that they were sorry here is what I'm truly picking up on. And I see you submitting to a higher order or you're independent. So I'm getting good shit. Yes, I'm, I'm also hearing the same rules apply. I don't know what that means. Take it how it resonates. I'm getting, um... Yeah, the same rules apply. So maybe this, the rules that this person has applied to you, you may need to apply them back. Apply it, apply it back. The death card. I'm getting um, fake or facade. So someone was being fake with you. And I'm getting a need for you to be fake with them. Or someone ended things with you. And I'm getting a need for you to end things with them. Let's see. Um, I want to get a moonology to end this extended for you, Virgo. Moonology. Don't let your past hold you back, yeah. So I'm getting um past life, six of cups, south node. 
this could be past life stuff, past life karmics, past, past life twin flames or soulmate energies here with the lovers. This could be something of the past or um, someone could be um, dealing with a past life soulmate. So I'm getting someone could be um, very connected to their soulmate of a past life. And you could be very discontent when it comes to this situation. I'm getting fake. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. This person is fake here. I'm getting everything about this person is fake. So they could wear fake jewelry. They could be just fake all the way around fucking bored. That's what I'm picking up on. Yeah, you and your loved ones are safe. Something about your family here. You have conclusions are within reach. Yeah, I'm getting don't let your past hold you back. Your loved ones are safe. And conclusions are within reach. Could be dealing with a Cancerian or a crab. I'm getting someone try to hold you down or hold you back. Or someone's currently trying to do this. Yes. Something about children. They could be using children to try to uh, hold you back or slow you down. This motherfucker raggedy as shit. I want some green cards. I hate, I just dislike. I don't hate anyone. But I dislike when people try to obstruct another person because they're insecure because they have no feelings because they're dead inside it's terrible yeah checkings and savings something about finances with this person yeah fly it's because you're a fly and you're about your money that's what it is that's why they're so fake it's because you're about the money they're not yeah money plant someone's trying to use you as a money tree or um they could just be trying to invest. You have star power here. You have offering. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or I'm getting someone realizes your star power. They're regretting uh, a decision that they've made surrounding lovers. So this could be separation. They regret separating with you. That's crazy. <laughs> How you regret it and you're being fake. And then you, you, you're involved with a... a past person four of cups because you're discontent with the virgo get the fuck out of here and then you have hundred thousand underneath the deck virgo i'm gonna get to your bag something about keep this next blessing secret the death card keep it a secret i'm also getting fake it till you make it or do what you gotta do that's what I'm picking up for you, Virgo, on this extended. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box where y'all can book that personal reading. And remember, you get 25% off any reading on my website. All right, Virgo, you have a blessed Monday, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.